Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Chris Capper and I'm down here in sunny Fountain, Colorado, showing the 2023 Newmark King Air 4521. We have this available on the lot right now and the stock number is 5N220651. So I'd like to bring you over here and notice first, we have seven awnings on this coach. We have the door awning, we have the two main Girard uh, awnings right here, and then we have window awnings here on the living room and the dinette side, plus we have your bedroom, two awnings on that, and then another awning on the other side, which you'll see when we get there. I'd like to point out this um, step first. This is a hydraulic step. This is, um, when we have this in camp mode, it's about one to three inches from the actual um, ground right there. And what's really cool is that Numar's integrated a safety mechanism. So if there's a curb or a rock or even a person's foot there, it will immediately come to a stop. So pretty nice on that. We have the Michelin uh, tires right here. These are 36570 R225s. Nobody puts bigger tires on their coaches than Numar does. And they work directly with Michelin to make sure that these are the best tires for this coach. Everybody knows Michelins are amazing. I have them on my car, my wife's car. They're absolutely phenomenal. So we have the um, Alcoa aluminum Durabrite wheels right here. Uh, super easy to clean. All you just need is a little bit of soap and water and a cloth and they'll stay nice and bright like that for the life of your coach. We have dual fuel on this, so you can fill the diesel on either side, making it super easy to pull in and uh, fill where you want. Lights right here. A really cool feature that Numar uh, put in a few years ago. You can actually just touch this button and that automatically opens, pushes it out a little bit. And what you'll see is the largest uh, storage area, like in just about any coach right here, this far forward. So pretty amazing what they've got done right here. And then coming over here, you'll see, I'm gonna switch with you, Jody. You'll see that we have a shelf on the top, but we also have this really easy to use electric slide out tray. And this will go about 60%. So I can go 60% on the, uh, towards the passenger side to get everything out, or 60% on the driver's side. In here, you'll notice that we have the tools for our Intervac uh, whole coach um, vacuum system that goes inside, but you can also hook it up down here and clean out your bays as well. Um, if you ever had an issue with the slides, and Numar invented the slides, so you really shouldn't, but if there were, you have the slide mechanisms to get those back out, and also some matching tiles um, that were made at the same batch that the tiles on the inside wore. And then we also have some awning, uh, manual awning extractors and so we're just gonna put that back in and you can see how easy this is. You don't have to bend over and pull that out or anything like that. Numar just wants to make sure that you have everything that you need. Going up a little bit, how many people have a Samsung 8K uh, TV with a Bose sound system for tailgating, camping, whatever you want? So what you'll notice on this right here on this side, not only do we have uh, two uh, 110, or really four 110 outlets, two of them being occupied, so we have two additional ones. We have some USB charging up there, <clears throat> and you can actually change this from the TV to the dash radio on this Bose system. So if you just want to listen to what you've got streaming inside, you, this comes with uh, three months of Sirius XM. You can actually just play your favorite channels on Sirius XM or just Bluetooth to your phone and play your favorite uh, playlist that you have on here. I'd like, also like to notice that they're using a metal slam latch right here, which is what you'd expect on a coach of this level. That is none of this plastic stuff. It's going to last you a lot of time. Also, this paint right here, this isn't graphite, uh, just decals or anything. This right here is BASF paint that is put on the coach in Napanee by professionals. 
this is fully cut and buffed and you just you cannot even feel where these stripes are put on there's multiple layers of paint multiple layers of gel coat this goes through multiple layers of quality control inspection as well so this is the absolute best in the industry nobody has better paint than what you're going to see on a Numar. i think i opened that one already so when you're camping, sometimes you want to have some extra food in storage. So we have this right here, just to go back real quick. This is where that uh, road vac is. And this slide out tray, just pull this out. And I can set this up for refrigerator or freezer. So if I want to store some extra meats or anything, I can put them in here. I can set it this side up for uh, my beer, my, uh, water, whatever you like to drink when you're camping. And you'll see right behind this, Jody, that is our Oasis Hydronic Heating System. Oasis is the best in the industry, and what Numar's done with this King Air, they have an 85,000 BTU uh, hydronic um, system in there. So pretty amazing what they're doing. This is a low pressure system uh, as opposed to what you'd see on an aqua hot, which is a high pressure system. So not only do I have the 85,000 BTUs, but I, I have in there two electric heating coils, plus I have that diesel uh, heating generator in there as well. So pretty good. You're not gonna get better than that. And having a diesel pusher like this, you're gonna want a place to store maybe your uh, fluids, some extra oil, um, def, anything, you can just put it in there. Just notice how all these compartments are already lit right here. Um, this is built on the Star Foundation, which is the um, strong, true, and robust. There is not a better uh, foundation in all of motor coaching. So nobody has this level that brings the, uh, all the weight from the outside down below the rail. So it gives you a much better uh, quality of ride, much better control as well. And it's gonna last longer. And that's the part of Newmar when you know the difference. So this is a little bit different of a door. And what I'd like to show here is the first of our two lithionic battery systems right here. With this right here, with both of these, you're able to camp for quite a long time, uh, dry camping, boondocking. Uh, we have two 3K inverters on here. They're pure sine wave inverters. So the really cool thing about this, you can run two air conditioners off this. While you're driving down the road, you can run one air conditioner without even running your generator. And we'll see the other one on the other side. So you know when you're driving, we got a 45 foot bus right here. It's sometimes not always easy to see who that little car right next to you. Well, this right here is a blind spot monitoring system. It's like a little sonar piece. And what that does is it'll put that light up in your, wind, your, um, your mirror, just like on your car. So that way it says, hey, there is somebody there, don't turn. I know personally that helps me when I'm driving and I'm not driving every day a 45 foot bus. So we got some more parking lights. Here we have our steerable tag axle. And what that does is it can rotate up to 12 degrees, giving you a much better turning radius. I was actually able to do a full turning radius in this uh, small parking lot right here with no issues at all. So really easy to drive, especially for the new RVer. Uh, makes it so much simpler to get in and out of campsites, even get on those uh, smaller roads. So diesel exhaust fluid um, was introduced in 2010. And what we have here, I think this is a 13 or 15 gallon um, tank right here. And what that means is that you could probably travel from New York to LA and back without having to refill this. It's quite a bit. Not only can you fill it here, but I'll show you on the other side, there's a dual fuel option. So no matter what side that you're pulled into the um, fuel station, you can actually fill up either side. <clears throat> and being that this is on a uh, K3 Spartan <clears throat> coach, uh, you have your service bay right here. So if we want to actually uh, turn off your batteries. If you think there's a parasitic uh, bleed in there, you can actually turn those off right there. Um, you have 
obviously access to your batteries here, access to what you need to change. And what's really cool that we have is this little piece right here. I push that and magically or mechanically, <laughs> we have our uh, engine bay compartment opening up right here. And so you can see I can plug my block heater in right there. Um, and you have access to everything that you need way easier. There's no radiator to get through. If I need to top off with some oil or check my oil, I can do that right here. Um, just makes it so much easier. This is our Oasis uh, um, tank right here. J just like you would keep that full, just like you would your radiator fluid. Um, so very easy to access. Our radiators are on the side. So I'm gonna shut that. <clears throat> and it shuts as easy as it opens. Once again, I have these um, uh, parking sensors right here, but they're also working when you're driving, so it makes it super easy. I've got the rock guard down here. And by the way, this is a 605 horsepower uh, Cummins engine, and this will have 1,950 foot-pounds of torque, so you will be able to tow what you need to tow when you need to tow it. And when you're going up those mountains, you're not going to feel that nearly as much as you would on a smaller coach. Uh, here we have the Air Force One, uh, which, which comes standard with these chassis. This is your tow brake. We have a seven-pin connector right here. This is your uh, hitch to hook up everything. And uh, while you're driving, you can actually hook up to right here, Jody. This right here is your Voyager. Um, you can plug that into your trailer behind you and hook your cameras into that. So that way you can see that on your driving display that we'll see on the inside without having to have a, another um, screen up in front of you that you have to worry about falling over or anything like that. <clears throat> All of these are LEDs. LED lighting right here, and you got that nice fin back there, just looks gorgeous. Here's our side radiators. <clears throat> we talked about the depth on the other side. Well, right here is where you can fill it on this side as well. Super easy to fill, very inexpensive, and it makes the air uh, cleaner. So what, what can you lose with that? So we do, this has a macerator system, but you always want a backup. So Newmar does give you that backup. So this is a really great place to store your uh, black uh, and gray water hose, sewer hose right here. Store it right in there. You don't have to get any of that messy stuff in your other compartments. We talked about batteries. Notice where these batteries are positioned too. First and foremost, they are positioned right here by your uh, rear axles. So that's gonna give you a better um, weight distribution in the coach. And these batteries are actually lighter than the lead acid batteries that we used to have. And you get about 50% more uh, from them than you do on those. So everything's super easy to access right here. And then we'll just shut that. And also notice the nice chrome that we have down here. So this is one of my favorite compartments here because everything is nicely lit. That's my macerator hose right here. You can actually hook a water hose up to this and go up to 200 feet in total from your coach. So, if, uh, and it will all go through that hose because it is like a, uh, a blender. So if you've ever made a banana smoothie, well, that's what this is doing. So you can actually go through a regular hose up to 200 feet from here if you need to. Um, our water hose right here, there's, uh, that is uh, electric, so you can just um, pull that out and it'll pull it back in. We talked about our gravity feed right here, so that's our gravity. So if for some reason um, something happened to the macerator system, you can still do a standard gravity uh, drain. Now let's say you have an issue and uh, you notice in your um, uh, laboratory, you have one of the sinks are leaking, you can act, and it's just the hot water coming out, you can actually turn that off right here. Everything is easily labeled. So what they've done is just made this so easy um, to keep going and not spoil your camping trip to make it more fun, less hassle. We have a hot water tap right here that you can hook up a, a hose, and um, I'll show you some up here. 
And then this is your, you can do an outside shower here as well. And that's a nice Delta system. Whole house water filter right here. Black tank rinse, so very easy. Everything is nice behind these stainless steel panels right there. And then let me just put this pan all the way so I don't squish that. All right, so 50 foot power, uh, 50 foot, 50 amp power cord reel right here. It is electric, so you don't really need to get your hands dirty when you're pulling that in before you take off. We have a surge guard automatic transfer switch right there, so you don't have to plug anything in if you wanna run the generator, uh, making everything super easy. And then also I'd like to note that every compartment between your wheels is heated. So it's heated by that Oasis system, uh, and they have the most insulation uh, than any other brand out there. Nobody has more insulation than Numar. So you've seen this on the other side, so this will come out up to 60% right here. But you can see there's quite a lot of storage and it's all self-lit in there. So just the act of opening it up, lights it up. So you can see just how effective that is to store all those things that you wanna take camping with you. And you ever need to, uh, see I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I'll tell you, we get love bug season down there in the Southeast, and when you're driving through that mess, it gets pretty bad. So what we actually have here is a power washer. You can use it to wash your coach, but you can also use it to wash that windshield up too, making it super easy to continue your, tr your trip safely without a black mass of dead bugs. And you can see we have the other, another filter right there as well. So this dual fuel, either side, nice little chrome piece right here. So it keeps any of that, if you have any drip, it's gonna hopefully drip away from what you've got. And we also have on every uh, Numar diesel, we have a guard in there. There's a metal guard, it's probably hard to see. It just looks black, but in case you were to have a front tire blowout, um, it is not gonna cut that fuel line for you. So that's just one of those things when you know the difference, uh, you pick Numar because they do all these little things to help you and your family be safer while you're driving, while you're camping, and they're an innovator. They've always been an innovator in the marketplace. So right here is uh, our chassis fuses. If one of those fuses go bad, you'll see the little red LEDs light up. And this is also where we can open that generate, that front generator. We have a 12.5K generator on this. <clears throat> I do have to have the engine <clears throat> um, started in order to open that as a safety feature. So we're just gonna skip that today, but it is a 12.5K generator in there. We have the nice chrome bus mirrors here. And also right here, you ever know when you're driving and you get all those chips in your hood? <clears throat> Well, we have the diamond shield on here and I've seen the ladies that do that. They're just amazing, super, super nice, super smooth. I can hardly even feel where the, this uh, seam is right here. Each one of these pieces is cut for the coach it's going on. So they're not doing uh, cutting it while there. Everything is already pre-cut. They're putting it on there, getting it in place and then sealing it on there. And then this right here is the King Air. This tells everybody that you are the king of the campground you mean business and you will uh, when you're spending your money you're only going to buy the best so let's step inside and see what we got nice running lamps too there <clears throat> so first you'll notice when we're coming in we have these nice little ambient lighting strips in here um, and they just make it a lot easier coming in. We have this nice tile right here with uh, grouted. And if you'll see on the right side, <clears throat> this handrail, uh, first of all, it's super nice arc. It looks beautiful. This is real leather stitched right here to give you a good grip when you're on that. So I'm gonna let Jody just kind of look back here so you can get an idea of what your space is when you're driving.
and you'll notice um, looking down at these seats, we're gonna come back to the front cabin area. This is the King Air. This is real leather, double stitched, nice stitching, right? Embroidery right here. You see these little vent holes? Well, these seats are heated and cooled, and there's a massage function built into both of these. We had this optioned in on here. We have our co pilot system here. So our co-pilot can actually change the navigation, change the radio, see the cameras. Um, so whoever's sitting in this seat can actually help be the navigator or the co-pilot here. This right here is just a little stand that comes in and out and you can actually put your Samsung um, system uh, pad in there and you can control a lot of the stuff on the coach directly from this right here. You can see how that grips nicely. Put your iPad in there, whatever you want. And then that'll just sit right there if that's where you want to have that. So moving here, I'm going to first open this, uh, but I want to show you this ch chain right here. So when I'm opening this slide, watch, actually we're going to watch this one here to our left because I want to watch the uh, bottom of this one. So you notice how this right here, these are all, this is locked in. What that, that um, <clears throat> chain actually locks that in to where that is sealed coming in. So when we put this out, that curvature in that unlocks that section. Nice. <clears throat> now on this side right here, I'm gonna push this out and I want you just to watch the bottom of this lift. Um, sorry, I was pushing the wrong button. So that's going straight out. You're not, we're not having to worry about tiles cracking because this is an HWH hydraulic uh, lift system that puts this out and then watch when this drops down. Nobody else in the industry has this right now. So it drops down and what we're gonna have is a flush mount slide. And guess what? There's no carpet. You know, everybody talks about how nice Prevos are. They do not have a full wall slide. At least I haven't seen one yet. So with this right here, you get so much more room than you get on some of those even higher end buses. Um, this right here, if I won the billion dollar lottery, this is the coach I would buy. So we have a lot of our control systems right here. So I can actually come right here, choose my channel, tell that, uh, that awning to go in. I can switch the channel and just tell all these different awnings that I want them to come in. There we go. Um, this is our home feature. So this is our silver leaf system. So this is telling me, uh, just kind of giving me an update on where everything is. Um, I can go to my AC power. I'm not plugged in. I'm not going to see that. I can turn my generator on from here and we'll do that shortly. Um, my water system right here, it gives me the percentages here. So I can tell exactly what percentage that we have in here. Um, I can do my auto fail top off if I want to top that off before I drive away. Um, and then my climate control feature, which is really neat. So I have it in auto on hold. Um, I can go to my Oasis system. I can turn my burn, my um, diesel burner on or my electric one and electric two. So it's been cold here lately. So we just have the electric ones on, but we're not burning our diesel here. And it just keeps us right where we want to keep it at. What's really neat here um, is I can go to coach mode right here and I can show that I'm outdoors unplugged. And it tells me, well, what should I have? What should I do? Well, if you don't know what you're supposed to do when you're camping, this is kind of like <clears throat> the idiot's guide to camping. You just push activate and it does everything that you need it to do. So there's a lot more to this. I can go to my batteries right here. I can see my current state of charge. I can see the temperature of the batteries. So I don't want to waste too much of our time on the system, but there, this gives you, if there's something that you need to operate, you can operate it from here and you can do this from the, um, tab that you, the, the Samsung uh, pad that you get, or you can also do it from your phones. Um, so we'll just leave that where it is. <clears throat> and here's our solar panel charger. And we do have a Wi-Fi Ranger built into this as well. I don't want to forget that. 
All right, I'm gonna get a sip of water and I guess we'll walk to the back, okay? I'll be putting this um, slide out. Hear how quiet that slide is? <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear it. It's hard to hear from here. It's just a very low sound. Newmar invented the slide in 1989, or 88, put in their first fifth wheel product in 89, their first motorhome product in 94. So welcome to the bathroom. <clears throat> first, I just wanna show why I absolutely love this coach. Uh, cedar lined, shoe garage, Look at the lighting in this. It's actually in your rail. I applaud the engineer that came up with that. We have another light here. And if we want to swing over here, we have all these shelves right here. And we have our <clears throat> wine guard satellite system because this comes with that. We option that in. And you have a Blu-ray and D uh, a DVD uh, system over there as well. So if you don't want that there, you can actually drop that down to one of these lower ones and use that as additional closet space. But you probably don't need to because we have some here and you also have this safe right here. So the default code is gonna be 159. You wanna change that when you get it. Um, and then after I shut that, after a moment, those lights will go off. When I'm gonna travel, I just put this little safety switch down. Uh, that'll be in your, I'm gonna go somewhere lock that down. <clears throat> so here we have an emergency egress hatch. Um, being a former Navy guy, I definitely knew where all my emergency egress hatches were in case there was a problem. Um, with this right here, I can just uh, pull that little tab down there. There's a telescoping ladder that will fold out and allow you to exit the vehicle uh, safely. The reality is you're not gonna need this for that. You're gonna use this for loading the rear part of your coach up. Um, I have yet to hear of anybody needing to use this and I'm thankful nobody's needed to use that uh, in an emergency fashion. fashion. There are two locks here just to make sure that you're double uh, protected. Look, you know, bonded windows here, all this extra lighting right here, just the attention to detail that Newmar gives. We got this uh, faux ostrich skin up here on this cathedral style ceiling. Um, you'll notice that there are no um, travel trailer uh, looking um, vents in here. All the vents are right down the center of the coach and the entire uh, coach. And they're all covered by something that looks nice. We have our Max Air fan right here. The largest shower, 50 by 34, this is big. So we have this wonderful um, drain right there that's kind of sunk into there that you'll see only on the best floor, uh, flooring. And look at all this right here. You've got this bluish gray, kind of chrome with white. Everything is kind of mixed together. It looks really high fashion and these chevrons going like up and down. You have this seat right here. So if you've had a hard day of hiking and you're just a little tired or you have some balance issues or if you just want to shave your legs as I like to do, <laughs> um, not really. But uh, if you do that, you can just sit down right here and enjoy that you'll notice that you not only have this nice um, raindrop shower feature. Oops, I forgot to take this off. Um, we put these on there uh, to protect when we winterize so they don't drip. But you also have this piece right here, and this is huge. So this allows you to rinse anywhere else that you need to to help get that soap off. Um, and there's a really cool feature right here. So we have the uh, aquamizer system in this right here. So right now this is just set up in the shower mode. So if I actually had um, water and I wanted to take a shower, that would just immediately come out. I'm gonna get some cold water first, right? Just like in my shower at home, I don't have a recirculator, so I have to let it run for about two minutes. With this feature, I flip this over here. 
when this uh, changes color, now I know uh, that this is ready because what it's doing is taking the water from the fresh water tank into um, through the Oasis system and back through here. Once that gets there, then you just pop this back, turn this on. You notice I have three settings here. So I can use one, two, or three of these right here and I can change the uh, temperature. And if you do have mobility issues, balance issues, or you're just tired, you have something to help pull you up. Uh, you also have something to hold on to if you have any other issues. Newmar's thought about making everything to be less cluttered in here. So who wants clutter? I know my wife hates it. She always gets on me if I get cluttery. So at the end of the day, Put your body wash, your conditioner, your shampoo in there. Just make sure you and your wife agree on what you're putting in there. Reality, she's gonna pick that. So there you go. And then this is just such a nice glass door right here. Um, and it's just solid. You wanna lock that before you drive. And then let's check this out. His and hers dual vanity sinks right here. Um, so you can actually change the how this spray goes. You have this beautiful like copper lined sink right here. I hope you guys have good TVs to see just how amazing this is. Lights in the mirrors um, on top of all of the other lights that we have in here. So uh, ladies, if you're doing your makeup, this is really gonna help you with that. I recently, a few months ago, switched the double-edged safety razors with a whisk brush. Um, this is a perfect format for that for me because I can get really close, have my hot water down there, and get close on that shave like I did this morning. So moving forward, you have two medicine type cabinets. Uh, in this, you'll, you'll see a double dual 110 outlets right there so you can keep your curling iron, hair dryer, whatever you want in there. Uh, keep that out of the way. Remember, less clutter. And then same thing right here. And you'll notice that all these right here throughout the coach, if you have shelving, you can have this nice carpet right here. And what this is going to do is going to minimize things uh, shifting during travel. It's also going to be quieter, so you won't hear the vibrations that you will on lower quality coaches. Motion sensor light. So like at my house, if I walk into the bathroom at 3 in the morning, as I tend to do once in a while, um, I have my lights turn on, uh, very, very low dim. This will do the same thing. So you can program that to where when you walk into it, it comes on for you. And uh, if you don't have that program, you'll see I have all my lighting controls right here. I can mess with that, but I can get into stuff we have throughout the entire coach. So like even from here, um, I can turn my aquamizer on from right here, my water pump, which I won't do, uh, and I can start and stop my generator if I want. So and you'll see if you look over here that aquamizer is turned on, it's glowing blue. And there you go. We have additional outlets on both sides. These are all GFCI because Numar cares to keep you safe. Every one of these drawers is just, not only is it finished outside, it's finished on the inside. Um, they're all soft, soft clothes on that right here. So I'm not gonna open every drawer, but you get a good idea. And then down here, we have additional storage space for you. Even the cabinets uh, are soft clothes. They take a while though. So check this out, Jody. We have, and um, this is the last year that we have this because 2024 they moved to the Samsung, uh, but this is the Whirlpool washer and dryer. So there's some people who really love the Whirlpool version of this right here. Um, 240 um, watt or amp, I, I get this mixed up, sorry, dryer. The key is when you put your stuff in here, it's not like one of those apartment dryers that take forever to dry. This actually gets it dry. Um, multiple settings right here. This is digital and manual controls down here. So whatever you're trying to wash, whether it's your delicates or whether it's your towels, you're gonna to be taken care of in that. And then you'll notice that these nice hinges, all these uh, doors are manufactured by Numar. All the cabinets are manufactured by Numar. Um, and last but not least, this is marble flooring. Um, 
all heated. Even the top part of the engine compartment, which is what you're looking at right now, has electric resistive heat underneath the tile. So you're not gonna have to get your little Piggly Wigglies cold in the winter time. So here's um, our, oh, I don't have the generator on. Let me start that. So I can start the generator from right here. And I'm also gonna shut that door. And then we'll have to let the uh, uh, circuit click over. So let's talk about this bed. This is a, a king bed. I think it's 74 by 80. Um, you'll notice we have these two little circles right here. And what those two little circles are is a charging pad for your, um, your phone. So I'm gonna leave that phone there. You can see it's charging now, 84%. It's my new phone, I love it. Um, all these blinds here are actually um, electric, so we can set that to uh, close or open easily just by pushing on this while you're sitting here. So pretty nice. Um, you can also option in a cabinet right here uh, that does take away some of your view though. So on this particular coach, we did not option that in just to let you get the full view of the beaches or mountains that you love. This bed right here has dual um, zones. So you can actually set a softer area or a firmer area, depending on what you prefer. Um, and you can see that's the uh, compressor for that right there. We have our two um, pieces for the, uh, for the um, table out there, the Eurobooth dinette. We also have two additional chairs that are matching decor uh, for that. So we'll get to that later. And then, I wish you guys could feel this, but I don't know if you've ever felt luxury. When you feel this, you have. Just everything about this coach, it's not ostentatious, it's just classic luxury. Um, built well, I mean, check out this sliding door right here. On the other side of this, there's a mirror. I should have showed you that while we were in there, but you just push this right here, or push that up, and it's just a farmhouse style door. And then you've got these nice mirrors on each side, smoke mirrors. So they just kind of extends the environment for you. It just makes it less, um, not that you're gonna be claustrophobic on a 45 foot coach, uh, but just makes it look a little bit bigger for you. <clears throat> so look how nice this is. You push this little button right here and we have um, electric and USB. So you'll notice these are throughout uh, the entire coach. We'll see some out there later. On both sides of this right here, you'll see, um, first we have that little under lighting, and there is a place to plug in your CPAP or your phone charger right there. Um, I've always told people, well, you can put it in the cabinet over your head. Well, my friend Katie had a doctor who is a cardiologist who is her customer and said, actually, that should be at heart level or below which is something I just learned within the past 24 hours. So pretty cool uh, to learn these things, but even these little drawer doors right here are also soft closed. So now that I have the generator hooked over, so I don't have the actual heat running. Um, this has a great heating system in it, but if you just want a little bit of romantic lighting while you're watching some TV uh, or cuddle time, you got it. I mean, that is gorgeous. Uh, you've got the flames look like they're just coming right through those rocks. Um, and those look like some type of quartz or something. I imagine they're probably just acrylic, but just the, what Numar has done is really amazing. So we've got drawers right here. I've got several drawers across. And then I also have some deeper drawers right here for storage. So just tons of storage throughout this. Nice uh, lighting on the fascia. So we talked about our InterVact uh, system. You can actually hook your vacuum system into right here and go all the way from the uh, front end to the rear end of the coach. And you're gonna have probably a little broom or something once in a while, and you can just kick, 
kick that plate up and just sweep it right into there. It makes it so much simpler. So when you're getting up in the morning, and in my house, my wife usually gets up first, except like on weekends, um, you actually have this nice little bathroom right here. So I'll let Jody get a good shot of that without me blocking it. So I can start that, the coffee for the morning. I can come here, I can actually shut this door, which I won't do right now, but uh, this door, two part door, I can shut that. So that way I or my wife can sleep and have their ni our nice dreams. Um, while the coffee's making, I can use the bathroom in here. We have all this nice lighting right here. Again, more electrical outlets here, more storage space here. Um, and then we also have uh, your macerator toilet, so you can just push that easily right here. Um, more storage in here. This is a good place for some uh, extra toilet paper. And then when you open this up, um, you got even more storage down there. Your electrical system, everything, <clears throat> you got spare fuses, everything is properly labeled. So if something's not working properly, you can easily come here and see, oh, it's my awning's not going out for some reason. It's the F12, which is a 20 amp. So I just have to find F12. There's the 20. Well, I have, it, uh, it, I have a tw spare 20. Let's flip that. Oh, it works. So I just paid myself $200 for being a tech for that hour. And then uh, same thing here. Very, everything is nicely labeled, just like you'd expect it. We also have the uh, Max Air fan in here and a nice chrome toilet paper holder, just like we have in the main bath. Isn't that nice? And this door right here is fashioned this way with a central hinge. So that way, even with the slides are in and you're driving down the road, the passenger can <laughs> come in here and still get into the, um, the bathroom there. So this is our pantry area. All these right here open fully. Um, nice slide out trays, nice, nicely finished wood right here. Um, and what's really neat is once you start driving, it locks into uh, so they can't open up. Down here, you'll see a place that you can actually hold your, um, all your pieces from up here. So you can put your cutting boards in there. You can do other things. We do have some places up here I'll show you in a moment. Viking, this is a 22 cubic foot refrigerator, luxury throughout. Um, so we have a little drawer down here. You can set your different humidity levels here. So if you put your, my wife and I eat yogurt once a day, so we'll have a drawer full of yogurt and cheese. Uh, you put your cut cutlets in there. Um, these are all adjustable. As you can see, slide, slide trays too. And then this right here, can uh, slide in so you can put like milk or something taller there so you have multiple places to put that a little place for your uh, butter um, if you want and just even on the lowest part of that drawer they still have other places for your condiments and things like that this does lock while you're driving uh, you do have to lock it yourself and then look at this deep storage we have here first uh, you can put like ice packs or whatever you want right here. Um, and then this slides out as well. So just really nice, that's an ice maker. So that'll be full of ice when you're ready for it. And soft closed drawers on that. So these, we wanna just talk a little bit about the finish right here. So this is a matte finish. Uh, it is gray. This is uh, very modern, um, very in style right now. So everything is like hidden. So we do have a microwave, but it's just nicely hidden when you're not using it, right? It doesn't break up the luxury of the space. Uh, and it's not just any microwave, it's a Viking microwave. Um, so you can, it's got all the settings right here, but this is also an oven as well. It's got the convection. You can actually bake uh, pizzas in there, cakes, etc. Convection broil, uh, pretty amazing uh, on there, sensor cook and it works really nice. 
and it's just, look at that. Everything is so nice with this coach. Again, we didn't have enough slide out trays, now we do. So you can slide out whatever you need to to, to access it here, plus you have uh, more uh, place up there for storage. So check this out. This right here is granite, and this is not light. Um, I, I don't, this is probably five pounds, um, maybe eight pounds. Um, and then there's a little um, storage place, so I can actually store these right here. So I'll just put those in there for right now. Um, but just check this out. This is um, um, a farm style sink sunk in that is, uh, you can do all your pots and pans and dishes really easily right here. We've got, you saw that secondary water, you got that water come, come right here. Um, and then this right here can spray or flow with this. And then this is one of the, I think this is the best induction cooktop in any RV. This is a Wolf induction cooktop. You can actually um, set your temperature and your timer. So when you want to boil pasta, you can actually set it at 212 degrees. So you're not going to get that boil over effect that you would if you just had it on high. It also is the most efficient way of cooking. Additionally, you don't have any flames. This is an all electric coach, so you don't have any flames coming up to pollute your indoor airspace. Um, and then on the other side of this, you'll notice there are cutting boards. So pretty nice. Let's put this back. nice drawers right here. And then um, this is the uh, Madhouse drawer. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, remotes in here. Um, there's also a programmable remote that you can actually program all the remotes into that, or better yet, get your grandkid to do it for you. Um, but you can uh, control if you're not using your uh, phone or any of these multitude of panels around here, you can actually go old school and use a remote to do that. You can accomplish everything through just picking up your phone, loading the, blue, the Bluetooth app, and communicating through your coach by that. That's the universal remote, in my opinion. Um, but you have all that available to you. You know, it'd be great if this unit came with a uh, dishwasher, and it does. So. We got a Fisher and Pical, Pical uh, dishwasher, um, which you'll see these used in Europe all the time. They're very efficient uh, drawer style uh, dishwasher right here. If you just wanna wash your own dishes, you certainly can. You can use this as additional storage space. Uh, but personally, I like the dishwashers because I like to sanitize my dishes. I was a cook in the Navy um, and it's really important to make sure your dishes are sanitized. Um, Moving forward, you'll notice these nice bonded wind uh, windows right here that you get, that nice bus style view. These are all double paned, and what that does is it gives you better insulation during um, summer or winter, keeping yourself cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We talked earlier about the, um, um, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so this will actually extend out and you can set uh, two additional chairs down here which are underneath the um, mattress. And then notice this pulls out, you get a lot of additional storage on here. As far as um, dinettes go, this has gotta be one of the most luxurious dinettes. I can sit here, relax, have my coffee, talk to my wife about what we're gonna do that day and just sit back and Try not to fall asleep because these are so comfortable. This leather stitching is amazing. And you'll notice we have it. Sorry, technical malfunction. <laughs> we have a um, throughout this coach. Oh, I just dropped both of them. Let me just fix my mics. 
so we have these pop-ups right here, and I've got uh, outlets on both sides of that. So we've got them, on, it was a little hard because I still got the protective uh, coating on that. We have them up here too. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got more outlets on each side of these uh, nice recliners right here. And we talked about this. Look at the design on this right here. It's almost got that Asian, mid-century modern kind of, I'm not an interior decorator, so all you interior decorators are probably screaming at me right now. But it's beautiful. I really like it. It's got that modern look to it. It's got that nice ambient lighting. There's no direct lights that are just shining on you anywhere. It's just got the right amount of light. You can dim these lights or uh, brighten them back up again for you. So what I want to show you to kind of most of you guys, well, I'll mention one thing here, then we're going to come back to the, uh, the home theater area. So this is on a Spartan chassis. And with this right here, I just want to talk about these seats. I mentioned before, I think the keys are up here. I mentioned before that uh, these are heated, cooled, and massage seats. They're nice and big. Um, do I have the, oh, here they are. Check this out. I just push a button and I can rotate this down. Uh, I can put it back up. If you're a little bit larger than me, and you have trouble getting in and out, all you have to do is pop this up and pop that in. And you have plenty of space. I can move this back pretty far. And then, oh no, I can't reach the pedals. Well, that's not an issue because I can just bring the pedals forward to me. So those pedals can adjust going back further for our daddy long legs. And then for people that are a little bit shorter uh, or want, the, want this back further, you got it there. So just, you get so many options with this right here. Um, I can just bring that. So this is where I kind of like it. This is where I had said it earlier, right there. And then I just bring this forward. Um, this piece right here, I'll set my um, comfort drive. So Newmar um, installed the comfort drive back in 2007. I think it, it came out on the King Air. Uh, what that does, it just allows you to so eat much easier, um, turn on um, so much easier to actually uh, turn that wheel. So I can turn the, these huge wheels with one finger. Now, I'm gonna back up. Well, I'm turned the exact wrong way. So it puts it straight for me again automatically. Um, which makes these so much easier to drive. If there is a crown on the road and I'm constantly doing this right here to turn this way, once I'm doing that for about 20 seconds and I can feel it doing it right now, it'll actually put the steering wheel straight again, but it's still steering that way. As soon as I compensate on the other side, it's gonna go straight again. So most of you guys probably know the engine stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna go through too much of that. I just wanted to focus on the King Air and the capabilities that it has. There we go. And now last but not least, I'm a theater nerd. I like to watch movies. I like to watch nice series. You can ask my wife. So if I want to sit down after a long day, sit down with my wife. Currently we're uh, watching The Expanse on Amazon Prime. It is a great um, sci-fi series. I want to hit it on theater mode. What you're gonna see is the lights are gonna dim. So we got our ambient lighting. All of my nightshades are going down. My TV's coming up. And I'm ready for movie time. The only thing I'm missing right now is my remote and my beer. So at the end of the day, if you really wanna travel in luxury, um, the Newmark King Air is the coach for you. It drives better than any of the other ones. It's got that 605 horsepower Cummins ISL engine in it. Um, it is just the peak of luxury. So come down to Fountain, 
Colorado. This is the last one that I have on the lot right now. My name is Chris Capper. We're at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. You can reach me on my cell phone at 813-333-2988 or via email at chris.capper at transwest.com. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and have a wonderful day.